What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video, man. This one's going to be about what will start to happen in your life the minute you start seeking the kingdom of God. Quick disclaimer, this might be my most informative, most important, my best video I've ever made. Straight up. Let's get it. Let's go. The number one thing you'll see when you start seeking the kingdom of God is that you will start to begin to hear God's voice clearly. Okay, you're going to have a lot of clarity and you're never going to be led to confusion. You're never going to, never going to be asking questions because God's going to be talking to you directly. Just like in the movie, The Matrix, y'all remember when Neo was on the phone and he was talking to Morpheus in the beginning stages when he was like escaping the agents. And I know it's just a movie, but it's that, that's how it is. And when you start seeking the kingdom of God, because I'm going to talk about what number two in a bit, but this is what's going to happen. God's going to be speaking to you directly, telling you, okay, you got to cut this person off. Or whatever sin, you may not even know it's the sin that you're doing. You got to stop doing this. He's literally leading you and guiding you. Now you have to hearken to his voice. It's very important. It's just as important as giving up sin, hearing God's voice, hearing what he wants you to do. So take heed, take heed to the voice. Remember, you're not being led to confusion and you're hearing God. When you start to seek the kingdom of God, I guarantee you, he's going to be speaking to you directly, speaking to your spirit. Okay. So you're never going to be led to confusion and you're going to understand what he wants you to do. And it's his will. Okay, so always keep this in mind when you're seeking the kingdom of God first. God is going to be speaking to you, telling you what to do, telling you who to cut off. Uh, maybe there's a stronghold that you have that you don't even know. He's going to be exposing and revealing it to it all. Not other people, but the things that you got to work on most importantly. Okay, now once you start to work on them, now you're going to start to see, which is, goes to number two. Number two, Satan's going to be pissed. Okay, the kingdom of darkness, Satan's kingdoms going to be pissed. And you got to understand, there's people who are in Satan's kingdom that they don't, they don't, they don't portray themselves as evil. That they don't intend to be evil, but they're just in bondage to this kingdom, the lifestyle that they're living, etc., etc. Okay, so Satan's going to be pissed the minute you start seeking the kingdom of God. The minute you stop wanting to live in sin, the minute you want you seek God wholeheartedly, it's like something gets learned in the spiritual realm for these demons and devils to come at you. I don't know how it works, but they know. Okay, they know, and they're going to be mad. Okay, he's going to send his minions, which is just demons, right? He's going to send his demons to distract and tempt you. Remember, whenever you feel like you're being tempted, okay, uh, let's say if you told it. Now, it's, it's, it's different when, let's say if you want to stop doing, stop drinking, right? Or stop doing whatever, okay? And a person, your your friend comes to you, tries to get you to drinking. That's not necessarily the devil. He it, Maybe you didn't tell that person that you don't want to start drinking again. But if you tell that individual, hey, you know, uh, I don't want to do it no more. And that person's constantly tempting you. Then that's the spirit behind that person because a real friend is going to want to see you grow. They want to see you do better. So always take heed to that, to the people that are around you, okay? Satan's kingdom will have a target on your back, okay? The devil does not want people to leave his kingdom. He wants people to stay in his kingdom because misery loves company. Satan himself is miserable, so he wants everybody else to be miserable with him. And then many of you, you know, because when you're going to God, your spirit gets elevated and you just start to feel much better inside. Okay, a no drug, uh, no sin can ever match the feeling that dopamine that you receive from seeking the kingdom of God and you know be, feeding your spirit, doing what's right, doing what's just. There's nothing else in this world that could match that feeling when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, comparing it with sin and things of that sort. Okay, so when I say Satan's kingdom will have target on your back, doesn't mean you want to be fearful. It doesn't really mean you be paranoid because God does not give us a spirit of fear, but we're alerted. Okay, we have the armor of God on, the helmet of salvation, most importantly. And we understand that, okay, there's a spiritual warfare going on. Remember, spiritual mind is life and peace, and to be carnally minded is death, okay? So we understand what's taking place in the spiritual realm. We understand there's people, even your own family, guys. Your own family is going to want to get you to stay in sin. Uh, you know, a religious spirit is going to try to get you to join their religion, okay? There is no true religion. The only truth is Jesus Christ. We've got to follow him, okay? Religious spirits will come your way to try to push all these religions on you don't don't be led astray guys those are all the kingdom of saying that's being used having people to keep, keep you in the matrix so that's what relig man-made religion is okay so always keep this in mind Satan will have the target in your back but if you stay close to the shepherd which is jesus christ you have nothing to worry about nothing to fear just stay close to him okay stay close to him and you're good you're straight and remember also hearken to his voice hearken to god's voice all right number three is a test of patience okay the Bible says over and over again, wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord. So this is what you're supposed to be doing when you're seeking the kingdom of God. You're going to have, uh, you're going to have to have patience, okay? You're going to have to wait on the Lord. You're going to have to be encouraged, and you're going to have to be strong, staying strong in the spirit because those, those fiery darts of the wicked are coming, okay? And you're going to be, you know, your flesh is going to get weak too because maybe you, you're not accustomed to living a life of, of, of holiness, of being set apart, 
of you know living some of us maybe have never even went a day without sin or a week without sin so it's not going to be easy that's why i said you know you got to be strong and that's why the bible says to walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh when you walk in the spirit it's like you're going to the gym spiritually and you're getting spiritually stronger and then deep down the road which i'm gonna talk about later on you're no longer gonna be wanting to live in sin you're no longer gonna be wanting to desire to live uh of the flesh because you understand whenever you go whenever you've been walking the spirit for months or years or whatever right and you start to do fleshly things it's just you're like why did i you, you're not gonna desire to do no more this is also a sign of being truly born again too as well okay i recommend everyone get baptized uh in the name of the father the son the holy spirit okay so Walk in the spirit and not the flesh, the test of patience, okay? There's a Bible verse, which I'll leave verses all throughout this video. I'll most importantly leave that verse right here. It says pretty much a test of patience. Let patience have her perfect work that it may be perfect and entire wanting nothing, okay? So you're going to be tested of patience. You're going to be seasons, okay? Um, you're going to be tested. Even the Bible, uh, Job was tested, okay? Job, uh, God, the Most High allowed Satan to attack Job. It was all just a test to see if Job was going to fold. And he didn't. So best believe God's going to be testing you too. Okay. So keep that in mind. The test of patience. You're being tested. Don't expect it. Guys, don't expect the blessing to come the next day. Remember, in life, you reap what you sow. So continue sowing good. And it's going to come back to you. I guarantee you. I promise you guys. If you keep on doing good, it, the good's going to come back to you in due time. Now, if you keep on doing bad, keep on doing evil, you're going to find yourself bad attracting, evil attracting. This is why it's so important to be accountable and be accountable of our sins and our wrongdoings because you don't want to be out here just, you know, wondering why your life, you know, is, is miserable, is horrible for years on out. You know, you got to start examining yourself. You know, that's why the Bible even says to examine yourself daily. How is Jesus Christ in you except you be reprobates? Okay, so you want to examine yourself. How am I treating other people or how am I treating myself? Okay, do I do good? Do I help people? Do I encourage people? You know, do I love people? Or, you know, because if that's what you put out, guys, to, to treat other people and yourself, that's what you're going to attract, okay? People that you're going to attract that come your way is only going to want to love you because you love yourself, okay? And vice versa, okay? So remember, the test of patience, be wait, wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord. Like I said, I'll leave Bible verses all throughout this entire video. And also, if you guys have made this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so more people can see this, okay? Because we got to get people to leave saying scheme because this is their the last days and many people are being blinded by darkness blinded by sin. So we got to get people to leave Satan's kingdom and come to the kingdom of God. Number four is you will begin to lose people and stuff that no longer serves its purpose. Okay. New levels. Not everybody could go. Be willing to give up everything. Okay. So the things that you gained in darkness, the thing that you gained in Satan's kingdom, like for, for you brothers, right? You may have been in a relationship with a Jezebel spirit, right? Or like a Lith or Delilah, whatever, like a demonic spirit, female. Right, or for your sisters, you may have been in a relationship with another Jezebel. Because a lot of these men today, guys, I mean, just from what I've seen, a lot of these Jezebels are men today, too. Okay, maybe because it's the people that are around me, whatever. Right, but a lot of men, so a lot of your sisters, you were probably in a relationship with a Jezebel or an Ahab or just like just a, a guy with the evil spirit. Okay, or it could be a, a son of Satan, right? But you were really attracted to him or her because maybe their personality, they look good, whatever the case may be. And the minute you start to seek God's kingdom, they're going to feel some type of way. And God's going to give you the choice. And these people, and the minute you start, you're going to notice this something, right? You're going to notice this, bro. The minute you start to seek God's kingdom, maybe y'all haven't talked to that person in a while. You haven't talked to him in months, weeks, days, whatever, right? And all of a sudden you start to seek God's kingdom, they start to pop back in your life. This is why I talked about one number two. You will have a target on your back. Those people are not coming coincidentally. So you got to choose, guys. Remember, seeking God's kingdom is not easy, but it's worth it in the end. It's, it's very rewarding, too. God will definitely bless you if you do his will, if you, if you go his route, you go his straight and narrow path, okay? So you will begin to lose people and stuff. All the things you gain in darkness, okay? Let's say, like, even you see people, guys, in Hollywood, right? They, they expose Hollywood and... You know, um, they expose like the evil agenda and stuff like that, right? And now they no longer get a job in Hollywood. So they lost it. They exposed the, dar the darkness and now they want to think that that's what happened. So you have to, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and the Satan. Okay, so you got, God's going to give you a choice. You got to pick a side. You know, you can't be lukewarm either. You got to be fired up. This is how you're going to be, be able to destroy these demons in the spiritual realm, okay? And, and also crucify your flesh. You got to be on fire for God, man. You can't be playing both sides can't be lukewarm, can't be double-minded, okay? So that's what it's going to be, man. New levels, new devils. And even Christ said himself, 
If you love your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your wife, your children more than me, you're not worthy of, of me. Okay, so you're not worthy of salvation when you when you choose the world over him. Okay, it even says that you adulterers, uh, you adulterers and adulterers, know you not that a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Okay, so you got to be willing and ready to give up everything for his name's sake. And best believe, like I said, guys, it may seem like a burden when you hear me saying that type of stuff, but it's actually a blessing. It's actually a blessing because this world is passing away and it's nothing but a vapor. So please understand this, guys. If you were to perish today, right, and you were in your bed and, you know, you had a couple seconds to live, a lot of people will be like, wow, I wish I would have done more things for God. Wow, I wish I would have lived for him. But you don't want to wait when it's when it's a last second. As you're in, when you're young, when you're healthy, um, when you have the the energy, when you could breathe. Most importantly, so anybody watching this video, you should be doing the will of God now, today. Let this be a warning, okay? Or let this be a message. All right. Number five is your spirit will become strong. You will no longer desire to live in sin. This is going to happen. I say a couple months into you seeking God's kingdom, and you've been doing the right thing. Uh, you're no longer your desire to live in sin. Like I said earlier, this is like the true sign of becoming born again, okay? Not to say that you're never going to sin no more because the Bible makes it clear that a man says he's without sin, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. So always keep that in mind when it comes to, um, you know, walking with Christ, walking with God. You know, yes, you're not going to live in sin no more, but there's going to be times when uh, your flesh is weak. This is why the Bible says to watch and pray that you won't enter, enter into temptation, Okay, so you want to have a strong spirit, a uh, strong, pr most importantly, a strong prayer life. Okay, um, pray for those around you. Pray for your circle, uh, your friends, your family, or your relationship, or for those who are married, your marriage, your children, uh, all the time. Okay, so you make sure you always understand that, man. In due time, you're going to be able to, whatever addiction that you have, um, whatever thing that's keeping you in bondage, you're going to break free from that if you just continue enduring and continue walking the straight and narrow path. Your spirit's gonna be strong. You no longer gonna want to desire to do those things, okay? So that's number five. Your spirit will become strong and you no longer desire to live in sin. I gotta make this very clear. I'm not I'm not saying that you're never going to sin no more, okay? I'm not saying that, but just you no longer desire to live in sin every single day, okay? Number six is deliverance, okay? A lot of people talk about deliverance, okay? I have many videos on deliverance too, so if you guys wanna check this out, pretty sure you can just type in deliverance, mark the messenger, it'll pop up, but... Uh, deliverance from all demonic strongholds and unclean spirits, okay? So anything that maybe keep you, like for instance, right? A lot of people hit me up, they struggle with um, with corn addiction, um, you know, lust pretty much, just uh, sexual immorality and things of that sort, okay? Uh, when you seek the God's kingdom of God, and you're, you're definitely going to be delivered from it, okay? Now, when you seek to get deliverance from those things, like I said, guys, those old relationships, they're gonna come your way, guys. Or like, let's say if you're just walking in the store, you know, you see some girl, that woman in the red dress, just like in the movie The Matrix, right? They're gonna, it's gonna be appealing to you, but you just gotta fight it off, okay? And remember, God always gives you a way out of temptation. He will always provide a way out of temptation, okay? So always keep that in mind. It's up to you, though. You have to be willing to and accept that, hey, I gotta fight, I gotta, you know, I know you're not for me, so I'm good. So you have to be accountable, okay? Walking with them, okay? So number seven, last but not least, is you'll become fruitful, faithful, fruitful, right? And you will help lead other people to the kingdom of God, okay? Towards the end of the stages, you know, when you're at the finish line or when you're getting closer to the finish line, when it comes to seeking God's kingdom, you, now you're equipped in the word. You know what the word of God is. You know about his commandments, his 10 commandments. You know about his son, Jesus Christ, and how he wants us to follow him. And you're going to be planting seeds in other people too. You're going to be leading people out of the kingdom of darkness into God's kingdom. Okay, and this is all going to be in, in patience, in due time. So this is it, guys. This is what will happen when you seek the kingdom of God. I may make a part two. Who knows? If you guys made this far, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this on all social media platforms. And check out this end video, too. I'll put it somewhere in the screen if you guys want to check it out. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.